Researchers say that climate change trends for the Caribbean include increased temperatures, rising sea levels, stronger and more frequent storms and hurricanes, and unpredictable rainfall patterns. In Jamaica, many older persons will tell you that there was a time when they could easily predict the rainy season and they would use that prediction to decide when to plant their crops. But this has changed. A warmer earth means an atmosphere with more energy and moisture. As in other parts of the world, these two factors result in more extreme Caribbean weather, such as floods, hurricanes, heat waves, and droughts. From 2013 to 2015, Jamaica underwent its worst drought in 50 years. Many people in the city didn't have water in their pipes. In rural areas, water in springs and streams dried up. Jamaica's eastern parishes got 90% less than their normal annual rainfall. Agricultural production fell by more than 30%. Losses due to crop failures and wildfires were estimated at $1 billion. Fast forward to 2017, and there were many incidents of flooding all over the country. The increased irregularity in rainfall that led to severe drought on one hand and extreme flooding on the other is a sign of a changing climate. Scientists have also documented a strong connection between the impacts of superstorms like hurricanes Sandy and Maria and the human-caused global warming. In Helsha, the fishing community can tell many stories of the sea now being in places where houses once stood. In Negril, the ocean is now much closer to the hotels than it was several years ago. So, climate change is real and it is changing how we live in Jamaica. In part 3 of this video, you will hear more about what we as Jamaicans can all do to help.